if I take a look at the schematic for my side piece, I can see that it has a total finished width of eight inches for each side and a total length of 23 and a half inches. The board that I glued up is 21 and a half inches wide, which is more than enough material to get me two eight inch wide pieces out of. Now, since this board was just glued up, there were clamps touching the edge of the board. There is a good chance that my good, clean, jointed edge has now been marred by the clamps. So I'm going to run one edge through the joiner one time just to clean up that edge once again. Now, although my finished size is eight inches wide, I am going to set the table saw fence to eight and one sixteenth inches. This will allow one extra sixteenth of an inch of material because this edge touching the saw blade will become mill marked by that saw blade. And after ripping that board, I have one piece that is eight and one sixteenth inches wide, and I have my remaining material, which is more than eight inches wide. I also have one good, clean, jointed edge and one mill marked edge for my first side piece. My remaining material, I have one mill marked edge and a clamp marred edge. I'm going to take both of my mill marked edges and clean those up on the joiner before I continue. With my remaining material and my good clean jointed edge up against the fence, I'm going to rip another eight and one sixteenth inch piece for my second side. And again, I am left with my eight and one sixteenth inch side and my extra material. On my side piece, I have one good clean jointed edge and one mill marked edge from the table saw. On my off cut piece, I have a mill marked edge and a clamp marred edge. My off cut piece, I'm gonna save for later because I might be able to use that for a different part of the project. With my side piece, I'm going to clean that up on the joiner and take off that mill marked edge. And what we are left with are our two side pieces measuring a finished width of eight inches. We have an oversized length of 24 inches and a thickness of one inch.